All right. So now let's continue with the registration and login page. We already have the template built for connecting to Supabase. And the first thing we need to do is go to the Supabase page. And for creating a Supabase client, we need to install the Supabase dependencies. So copy this into our project. Then we need to set the environment variables. So copy these two variables and go to our project. And of course, we have to create that m that local file. I will put here superbase. And these two variables, superbase URL and superbase anon key we can obtain after create a new project. So go to the superbase uh, and push in mm, create new project. I will name IoT dashboard, generate a password and create a new project. So here, this is the URL, copy this into our variable. And then this is our API key. So now, um, we have to create a client um, because we are working with Next.js. Uh, we can create uh, our client uh, in client component or our server component or using server actions. We will use client component and server actions. So first of all, copy this, go to the our project in here, you can create a folder called Supabase and inside create a new file called client. Um, I will modify a little bit here. And I will rename this function, create Supabase client client. You can improve this name, of course. And then also, I will create with server actions, copy this, and I will create a new file server. And I will modify a little bit this return. I will put in here. And this use server move to the first line. I don't need this. Uh, I will rename this function as great supervised server client. So cool. And, and also we need this middleware uh, to refresh expired section before loading server component rules. So the only thing we need to do is copy this code and go to the source uh, folder and inside create, create a, a file called middleware. Um, all right, I think this is all for Supabase configurations. And the another thing that we need to do is create the server actions. So in our folder uh, source, I will create a new folder called actions, uh, a new file called index. So here I will put all uh, the server actions that I use to connect to Superbase. So 
you can see here uh, I create uh, four functions one is to sign up with email and password another to sign in with email and password another is to sign out and the last is to read user session so all these several actions to, to use uh, we need to put here use server of course and we need to import the superberries server client and also we need to import the next navigations okay so um, we will uh, start with the registration page so we will use the sign up with email and password so go to the components forms and the register form and you can uh, this comment is fun this function yes for actions and also this okay and then you can see here for example we use the sign up with email and password uh, function if everything is okay um, where well, we will show the toss with a message that's this that says successfully register or if any error so we can show the error message so first I will ensure the toss is working then let me check here and Yeah, make sure that TOS is uh, the TOS provider or the TOS component is in your layout. So if I go to the register page and create, for example, a user at mail.com, put any password, and put register. Um yes, so we can check if this request is in our superbase. So go to the authentications tab. Um, well, you can see here this is our new user mail, and this the status is waiting for verification. Yes, you can change this. Um. To disable that option, you can check this configure email and save the configuration. And for example, I will create another uh, user called user number two that mail .com. Put some password here and push in register. Ah oh, well. I have already want user number three. Okay. So here in our authentication, we can see our user number three, where his status is uh, not waiting for verification. So if we want that after register uh, redirect our user to the home page we have to go to the page uh, from our outsource and make available this read user uh, section so in this section, we use uh, the server actions for reuser sections. And after the session is available, if the data is available, we return to the home page. So we can save the changes. And well, 
we already uh, we already are in the home page if i go to the out page i can i i well the application automatically redirect to me in the home page and well uh, right now we can't use the sign out server action we can create a button here so go to the page from home page and uncomment this server action sign out and we will use this for action to call this server action sign out so save the changes and yes this is the button if i push in here yes the cookies is disappear and we are we redirect to the auth page okay so the next steps is uh work with the sign in so go to the sign in form and comment these sections also on un comment this function so here we are calling this function sign in with email and password that already created in the service in our action folder so if everything is okay we will show successfully logging if there is any error we will show error message so let's test it this is the sign in for example user number three that at mail.com I put the password sign in if everything is okay I read it Oh, the application redirect me to the home page. Cool. So right now we have the sign in, the register, and the last one is the OAT form. Okay. So to do the login with GitHub, for example, uh, we have to go to the Superbase. Go to provider tab and then go to the github and enable so you can see we need the client id and the client secret we can obtain this from our github page go to the github page and go to the settings and then for developer settings create a new oauth app so I will put in here IoT dashboard. The home page will put localhost 3000. And this is our callback URL. And register application. Okay. This is our client ID. And you have to paste here and the client secret you have to generate a new one I will generate with my mobile okay I already generate generate a new client secret so copy this to our client secret and save the configuration okay I have already configured it so the next thing we have to do is go to the out folder and we have to create well here we have to create a new folder that I will put callback here and a new root so we will use this callback to redirect when GitHub provide us the authentication um, for example here we are using we are using the get request to try to to catch 
the search parameter, for example, the code here. After that, if the code is, is true, so we can read the cookies and create a new Superbase client. And in order to to try the to in order to authenticate with uh, GitHub. So if everything is okay, we will return to the origin page. And if there are any errors, so we will return to out to out of error, for example. You can improve here. And then, of course, we will modify this form and comment these sections for create super client client and also this for signing without without with o auth github and this function so in this function um the only the only well, we have sign, sign in with all out GitHub, so the result is if everything is okay, we will show successfully logging. If there there are any errors, we will show the errors message. So save here and go to the our application and try to log in with GitHub. And you can see GitHub ask for authorization authorization so if everything is okay we will redirect to the local host